We're gonna start by making the head. So grab your G 4.0 millimeter crochet hook in your bare body color and let's get started. So we're gonna start by taking our bare body color yarn and making a magic circle. We're gonna single crochet six times into the center of our magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Then we're gonna pull our circle closed here. And this is made in the round. So we're gonna continue going in a continuous round. We're not gonna join and chain up. So that's round one. For round two, we're going to single crochet increase in each stitch. So we're starting with six. So after round two, we're gonna have 12 because we're gonna put two stitches in each spot. I would go ahead and use my stitch marker, but I like to grab it after round three. So we'll start going directly into the top of our first single crochet and place two single crochets in that same spot. So that's one and that's two. Repeat that five more times, giving us a total of 12 stitches. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. For round three, we're going to go from 12 to 18 stitches. So we're going to start by putting an increase in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next stitch. That's going to be our repeat. We're going to go increase, single, increase, single, increase, single, all the way around, giving us a total of 18 stitches. One, two for our increase, and then three for our single crochet. Next one's an increase. Four, five, and then six for our single crochet. Repeat that all the way around. Seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Now is when I like to grab my stitch marker. I just mark the last stitch in each row with my yarn here so I know where the row ends. Now we're gonna do round four. We're gonna increase in the first stitch, single crochet, single crochet. I'm gonna repeat that all the way around. So this time there are two single crochet stitches in between each increase stitch. So we're gonna increase, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next two stitches. One, two, that's our repeat. Do that five more times, giving us a total of 24 stitches in the row. So increase, single crochet, single crochet. Okay, last repeat, increase, single crochet, single crochet. And our last one goes in the stitch with our stitch marker. That's exactly what we want. Go through our last stitch and pull up our stitch marker so it is in the next spot for the end of the next round. For round five, we're going to be placing three single crochet stitches in between each increase. So we're gonna increase in the first stitch and then we're gonna single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. That's our repeat. We're gonna do that all the way around for a total of six repeats. So five more times for the repeat, giving us a total of 30 stitches in the round. Okay. One, two, three, my last repeat, and I'm going to pull up my counting yarn here, my stitch marker yarn. We're going to get ready for round six. For round six, we're going to increase in the first stitch and then single crochet in the next four stitches. So we add a single crochet in between the increases for every round. This time it's going to be four. So single crochet one, two, three, four. That's gonna be our repeat. We're gonna do that five more times 
for a total of six times and giving us a total of 36 stitches in the round. Okay, it's my last stitch in round six. Then I'll pull up my stitch marker, get ready for round seven. This time we are going to increase in the first stitch, then single crochet in the next five stitches. So increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. That's going to be our repeat for this round. Increase single crochet five. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six repeats, giving us a total of 36 stitches in the round. Four, five, pull up my stitch marker. For round eight, we are going to increase in the first stitch, then single crochet in the next six stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's our repeat. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six repeats, giving us a total of 48 stitches in the round. Okay, last stitch, pull up our stitch marker. Now that is all of our increases for our Addy Bear head. Now we're gonna do what I call grow rows, which they're just gonna grow our work. We're not gonna increase anymore. So we're gonna single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around for a total of 48 stitches in each round. That was round eight. So we're gonna do that for rounds nine through 16. So nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Eight more rounds of 48 single crochets in each round. Like I said, no increases, just one time in each stitch for 48 stitches. I will come back after I finish round 16 and we will get ready to start our decreases um, that will start shaping our bare head. Okie dokie, I just finished round 16. We have the nice shape of a head going here. I went ahead and sewed in my tail, but I just left it, I didn't cut it off because there's really no need. Okay, so now we're gonna start our decreases. For round 17, we are going to decrease over the first two stitches, and I like to do the invisible decrease or something. It goes insert your hook under the front loop of the first stitch, then wrap your hook around and insert under the front loop of the second stitch, and then that's where we're gonna place our single crochet, that's our decrease, and then we're gonna single crochet in the next six stitches. So one, two, three, four, five, six. That's our repeat. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six repeats, giving us a total of 42 stitches in the row. So I'm gonna show you the decrease one more time just in case this is your first time. We're going to insert our hook under the front loop of the first stitch, wrap our hook around and under the front loop of the second stitch. That's where we're gonna place our single crochet. And now we're gonna single crochet six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Repeat that four more times and I will meet you back at the beginning. Four, five, the last single crochet goes where my stitch marker is. Pull up my stitch marker. Now we're ready for round 18. For round 18, we're going to single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. And then we're gonna single crochet in the next five stitches. One, two, three, four, five. That's our repeat. We're gonna do it five more times for a total of six repeats giving us a total of 36 stitches in the round. Coming up to the end of the round, into the space with my stitch marker yarn, and then I can pull up my stitch marker yarn. For round 19, we are going to decrease over the first two stitches, then single crochet in the next four stitches, one, two, three, four. 
Repeat that five more times for a total of six repeats, giving us a total of 30 single crochet stitches in the round. One, two, three, four, Three, and then the last one where my stitch marker is. Four, pull up my stitch marker. For round 20, we're going to single crochet, decrease over the first two stitches. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next three stitches. One, two, three. That's our repeat. We're gonna do that five more times for a total of six repeats giving us a total of 24 stitches in the round. Okay, last repeat, decrease, one, oops, two and three. Pull up our stitch marker yarn, and now we're gonna go ahead and begin stuffing our Addy Bear head. You can see it's starting to turn into a little ball. We'll stuff this as full as you'd like, and then we'll continue with the next round. Okay, I'm at a good spot with my stuffing so we can get ready for round 21. We're going to single crochet decrease over the first two stitches. And then we're gonna single crochet in the next two stitches. So single crochet, single crochet. That's our repeat. We're gonna do it five more times for a total of six repeats giving us a total of 18 stitches in the round. Okay, coming up on my last repeat, decrease, single crochet, single crochet, then pull up our yarn. You can stuff some more if you want. I'm gonna stuff more after my next round. For round 22, we're gonna decrease over the first two stitches and then single crochet. So decrease, single crochet, decrease, single crochet all the way around, giving us a total of 12 stitches in the round. I'm gonna start with my decrease. And then after I do this round, I will add some more stuffing. You don't want it to be too stuffed because you don't want it to turn into like a little baby weapon but you want it to be shapely. Coming up to the end here. And last one. Pull up my stitch marker yarn. Now I'm going to add a little bit more stuffing. I like to give mine some finagling to make sure it's nice and evenly stuffed, okay? Kind of like making some Bread dough, I would imagine. I've never made bread dough. Okay, now we're gonna get ready for our last row. There's a lot more room in there. I could stuff it more, but it's there's really no need. It doesn't need to be as hard as a rock, so I'm just gonna keep it as is. Get ready for our last round, um, which is decrease in each stitch around, but this one's gonna be done a little different. I'm gonna go ahead and pull out my stitch marker yarn. Also, you're gonna need two actual stitch markers. And as always, I forgot to say that in the opening of the video. I always do that. So now we are going to decrease six times, but they're not gonna be like the decreases we've been doing where we've been going under the front loop only. We're gonna decrease in the back loop only. So leaving the front loops open. So I'm gonna insert my hook and I'm just gonna make these regular decreases. You will not see this. Insert my hook, grab my yarn, pull up a loop, then insert my hook into the back bump of the second stitch, grab my yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three. That's our decrease. We want this to grab the first exposed back loop right there because you might lose it. So the first one needs to have a stitch marker and then we'll do it over here. You can go ahead and do it now. The front loop of the last stitch. Those need to be kept not lost. Okay, that's one decrease, insert, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, insert into the back bump of the next stitch. We are leaving all of the front loops unworked and exposed. You can see them starting to be, because that's where we're gonna attach our body. Okay. This is our third. 
decrease. Okay, last one is there. It's a little hard to get into the last one because it's such a tightly closed hole at this point. Okay, and the stitch marker being there helps a little for that last one. And single crochet. Now we can cut off our yarn. No need to leave a giant tail because we're just going to be hiding it. Just make sure it's long enough for you to be able to work with. Now we're going to just, I think I just pull it on through. It really doesn't matter, but we're just going to pull it on through for now. And we're going to sew in this tail right now with a tapestry needle. Leave your stitch markers because you're going to need them in a minute. I'm just going to close up this circle by lifting up the front loops with a tapestry needle. It's okay if it makes like a little bump. I call them little nipples. Totally fine because it's going to be completely hidden by the body of our bear. So I'm going to make sure I went under, closed it completely. Then I'm going to knot it off to make sure it's extra secure. And then I'll hide it in the body of the head here. And after we finish off our head, we will make our little arms. Okay, leaving our stitch markers there. We will need that in a minute. Head is complete. Let's move on to the arms. To make our Addy Bear arms, you're going to want to make two of these. So just watch the video twice if you need to. We're going to start with the magic circle. Single crochet six into the magic circle, just like we did for the beginning of the head. That's one, two, three, four, five, six. Close our magic circle. These are also made in the round, just like the beginning of the head. So for round two, we're going to increase in each stitch all the way around, giving us a total of, again, 12 stitches. Increase. One. Two, increase, 11, 12. And then we're gonna single crochet one time in each stitch all the way around, giving us 12 stitches in each round for a total of 15 rows. We're going for 15 rows, so it's just long and skinny little arms. I'm gonna make both of these off camera. So just one single crochet in each stitch, no increases. After you get about uh, four rounds, completed, you can go ahead and sew in your first tail. No need to cut it off unless you just want to because it will be hidden inside of the arm. Just make sure it's nice and secure and would never unravel. I will come back after I finish my 15 rounds. Okay, just finished my 15 rounds. I hid my tail, sewed it in, and hid it down in there. Now we are going to stuff our arms, but don't cut your yarn off yet. I'm just going to go ahead and stuff mine really quickly. The key also is to make sure both of your arms have this about the same amount of stuffing so one's not bigger than the other one. Now we're going to close it off. So I'm going to show you how to do that. Make this loop here as tight as you can on your hook. We're going to insert our hook into the next open stitch here and then we're going to insert our hook into this stitch right behind us. So we're just going to whip it around and go right into that last stitch. Now we're going to single crochet decrease. This is the first stitch. So grab our yarn, pull up a loop, go into the next stitch and the matching next stitch on the other side. Grab your yarn, pull up a loop. Make sure your work is nice and taut. Yarn over, pull through all three loops. That's our single crochet decrease. We're gonna do that two more times into the stitch, into the same stitch, across from it. Grab our yarn, pull up a loop into the stitch, into the stitch across from it, grab our yarn, pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through all three loops, that's two. And then this last one here, pull through all, that's three. Now you can tie off. Now we have three stitches here, and these are the stitches that we're gonna use to attach our arms to our bare body. So like I said, you're gonna wanna make two of those Set them aside, and now we're gonna grab our bear head again. Okay, now we're gonna start making our bear body. We're gonna switch to our eye hook. You could also use a J if you wanted to. I'm going to insert my hook into the left 
stitch marker. This is the first one in the row, if you can remember, that was the last one. So I'm gonna insert my hook under that uh, exposed front loop right there. Sometimes it helps to pinch your head so the yarn pops up, but that's where I'm going to insert my body color yarn and chain to secure it. Now we're gonna single crochet one time in each of the 12 exposed loops. So starting in the one where we just joined, we're gonna insert our hook and place a single crochet right there. That's one. It's gonna be a little tight because this was made with a G hook, but you can do it. Insert into the next exposed loop. Give it a little wiggle if you have to. Single crochet for two. Three, 11 right here. And then 12 is gonna go where the stitch marker is. So that one gets a little tight. So I'm just gonna give it like a little stretch, get my hook up under there, and then remove the stitch marker. Okay. That's our 12th single crochet. Now we are gonna be working in the round again, so no need to join. Now we're going to attach our arms as we do round two of the body. So that's round one of the body. Round two, we're gonna attach our arms. So you're gonna grab your first arm, starting with the stitch where your tail is. That's where our first stitch is gonna go, so keep that in mind. So we are going to grab our first arm, insert in the first stitch next to the um, string here, next to the tail, and then insert our hook into the first stitch of round one. Might be a little difficult because it's the first stitch. Okay, we're gonna single crochet increase in this spot. So we're gonna single crochet one. It's hard with the tails, but try to get them out of your way. Single crochet one. And then again, going through the armhole and then the first stitch of the head round one. I mean the body round one. Single crochet. Then we're just gonna single crochet one time for the next armhole. So in the armhole, in the body stitch, single crochet, get the tails out of the way. We're gonna increase in the next stitch. So into the last armhole stitch, into the next body stitch for one and do it again in the same spot for our increase. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next stitch right here Increase in the next stitch, one, two, single crochet in the next stitch. Now we're gonna grab our second arm. Again, going into the stitch where the tail is at. This is the one we're gonna start with. Insert your hook into the stitch of your arm, and then go into the stitch of your body. And we're gonna increase again, so two stitches are gonna go right here. Nice and taut. One and, Lord have mercy, grabbing all them tails. Two, then we're gonna single crochet the next armhole together with just one this time. One through there and there. That's where we're gonna place our stitch. And then increase in the last armhole into the body. Keeping your tails out of the way. That's one and again for two. Three more spaces to go. We're gonna single crochet in the next stitch. Increase in the next. Increase and then single crochet in the last stitch. Sorry, single crochet in the last stitch. And I'm gonna go ahead and put my stitch marker for round three, we're gonna half double crochet increase in each stitch around, which means two half double crochet stitches in each stitch, going from 18 stitches to 36. So at the end of this round, we'll have 36 half double crochets this time, not single crochet. So yarn over, insert your hook into the first stitch, grab your yarn, pull up a loop. You have three loops on your hook. Yarn over, pull through all three. That's our half double crochet. We're gonna do it again in the same spot for our half double crochet increase. And that gives us two half double crochets in the same spot. We're gonna do that all the way around, giving us a total of 36 
half double crochet stitches. I'll come back when we reach our stitch marker. Okay, I'm back to my stitch marker for the last two stitches, 35 and 36. I'm gonna go right there. I can remove my stitch marker. For round four, we are going to increase in the first stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and move my stitch marker so I don't forget where, where I end at. We're gonna increase in the first stitch, which is two half double crochets together. The rest of the body will be made with half double crochets, just so you know. And then half double crochet one time in the next stitch. We're gonna do that all the way around. Increase, half double crochet, increase, half double crochet. This is gonna take our stitches from 36 to 54. Half double crochet, increase, half double crochet. I will be back once I get back to my stitch marker. Almost back to my stitch marker. Increase, half double crochet in the last stitch. Move up my stitch marker for round five. We're going to half double crochet in each stitch all the way around, but we're going to add two more increases underneath the armpits. It doesn't really matter exactly where you put them. They just need to be kind of on the sides here. Increase somewhere right here and then increase somewhere right here. We're just trying to get to 56 stitches instead of 54. And then all of the rest of our rounds will be grow rows again. So no more increases after this round. I'm gonna put my first armpit increase right here. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same thing once I get over to the other arm. And then after this round, we will do grow rows until the length of our Addy Bear is what we want. I'm gonna go ahead and make mine off camera, and then I will come back and tell you how many rounds I did total <laughs> because I'm not 100% sure. I think it's gonna be 20 something. Um, I've made probably six of these so far, and each one is a little bit different. So I will come back, just continue after you finish this round and you get your two increases under the arms to get to 56, then use your stitch marker and half double crochet, 56 in each round, and I will come back and tell you how many rounds to do total. Um, now is a really good time to sew in your tails for the arms and the beginning of where we rejoined. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that, um, at least the arms on camera with you guys because they can be a little finicky. So this is our starting yarn that can be sewn in like regular. This is an arm, see, an arm tail. So you wanna make sure that your arm is nice and attached. If it's not, you can sew through this and kind of pull it up a little bit tighter if you want to. Um, I think it's fine. So I'm just going to pull it nice and taut, knot it really tightly and then hide the tail inside the head of the bear. So I'm going to pull it nice and tight here and then knot it right into there. And I'll do the same for both arms. Just like a double knot. Do it one more time, just for giggles. There we go. Nice and secure. And then hide the tail into the body, I mean the head portion. Pull it tight and then it will disappear into the head. I'm gonna do that for the other arm stitch. And then um, this one, you can just hide it. It doesn't have to be um, extra secured. I mean, you can if you want to. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this one. I'll hide this one and then I'm going to single or half double crochet until I get the full length of my body. My guess is 23 total rounds, but we will see when I get back. Be right back. Okay, I just finished the body of my Addy Bear, and it was a total of 21 rows. I was very close. You are welcome to make yours longer or shorter if you'd like. Um, we're just going to make this the standard and go from there. Now we need to make sure it is flat without being twisted up. So I just like to kind of make sure the under the armpits is flat and make sure it's not all twisted or weird because we're going to seam up the bottom now. So my last stitch is very close to the edge. My stitch marker might have gotten put in the wrong spot. 
Um, but I am just going to take out two stitches, one, two, so that my last stitch is right on the front side of these two pieces when it's flat. Um, that way I can join them together without it being wonky. You can add more stitches or take away more stitches depending upon where yours ended up. To do the joining method, it's called the join as you go and I use it in a couple of my patterns. So we're not chaining, okay? That was our last single crochet, we're not chaining. We're just gonna turn our work and we're gonna insert our hook into the stitch we just finished and place a single crochet. And then we're gonna remove our hook from our working yarn, go into the unworked chain that was after the one we just finished, grab your working yarn, pull it through. We're gonna do that all the way down, single crochet in the first one, insert your hook into the, the one next to it that matches up, it's on the back half of your bear, pull it through. But before you do this, you wanna make sure all your tails are sewn in. All of my tails are sewn in. And this is just a quick and easy way. I like the look of it. If you just wanted to single crochet across together, you could probably get away with that. Um, if this takes you too long, the key is speed if you're selling these things. Um, so if this takes you too long and you just want a single crochet, by all means. I also saw another maker, her name's Karen. I will try to put her Instagram handle on the screen for you guys, who took the Addy Bear pattern and instead of making it a line across the bottom like this, she clenched it um, to make it kind of more like a sack. Very cute. She sold a bunch of those in her shop. Super proud of her. I'm going to continue to single crochet these together with the join as you go method. And then we can tie off our yarn and we need to make our ears. I okay, coming up on the end. I don't know. Usually I just slip stitch right here. Let's see what happens if I do this. and then tie off like that. That looks fine. Cut your yarn. I don't think I'll have enough to make my two ears, but we will play yarn chicken and we will see. Now we'll sew in that tail and the body of our Addy Bear is finished. We gotta make the ears and the snout and then add the stuff to the face and then she'll be ready. So let's make our ears. Go back to our G crochet hook. So we're gonna start by taking our bare body color yarn and making a magic circle. Chain one to secure, and then single crochet seven into the center of our magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Close our magic circle. Increase in each stitch for a total of 14. So two single crochets in each stitch. Increase, that's one. Increase, that's two. Increase seven. Now we're gonna single crochet one time in each stitch around for a total of 14. You can use your stitch marker if you need to. One, two, three, 13, 14. We're gonna do that one more time. One single crochet in each stitch all the way around. One, two, 13, 14. Now let's pull out our yarn and tie it. Sew in our tail. We're still not finished, but I wanna go ahead and sew in this tail before um, I start my decreases. I'll speed this up here so you're not watching it in real time. Okay, now I'm gonna flip it right side out and get ready for our last round, which is a decrease round. And I'm gonna go ahead and use my stitch marker for this one because it's not a perfect repeat. Okay, we're gonna start with a decrease over the first two stitches. We've already talked about how to do these. Then we're gonna single crochet in the next three. One, two, three, we're gonna decrease single crochet in the next three. One, two, three. I will have just enough yarn for one ear. I'll have to grab another ball. Decrease, and then single crochet in the last two, giving us a total of 11 stitches for the ear. And then I like to slip stitch in that last stitch where I just put my last single crochet and tie off. 
And we're gonna need to make two of these uh, because bears have two ears. I'll make the next one off camera, but let's go ahead and get started making our little bear snout. Me to single crochet our snout. I'm gonna still be using my G hook here. Make a magic circle. Grab our yarn and chain to secure. We're gonna start by single crocheting eight into the magic circle. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pull our magic circle closed. We're gonna increase in each stitch all the way around giving us a total of 16 stitches. So two single crochets in each one until we get 16. One, two, that's one. One, two, that's two. One, two, that's three. Four, five, Seven. Okay, last one, increase for eight. For the next round, we're going to increase in the first stitch, single crochet in the next stitch. I'm gonna go ahead and grab my stitch marker here, just in case. We're gonna start with our increase. And then, oh, and then single crochet in the next. This is gonna get us to 24 stitches. Increase single crochet, increase, single crochet, increase, all the way around. And then a single crochet goes where my stitch marker is. If I was using an H hook, this would be the perfect size. Um, it's looking a little small. I'm gonna put it on my Addy head, Addy bear head and see how it's looking. We probably could have used the, I don't wanna, Give you guys a pattern that uses three different hooks. We probably could use this one. I'm just going to do one more round to make it bigger. So we're going to increase up to 32. So we're going to increase stitch in the first right here and then single crochet in the next two spaces. One, two. Increase in the next stitch single crochet in the next two. Repeat that all the way around until you get back to your stitch marker, giving us a total of eight, 16, 24, 32 stitches in the round. Okay, last repeat, increase, single crochet. Oh, just kidding, one more. <laughs> increase, single, and then single in the last stitch where my stitch marker was. Okay, let's look at it now. Oh yeah, that'll do. Now we can slip stitch in the same space. Let's just go ahead and go in the next stitch space. I'm gonna slip stitch in the next space, tie off leaving a long tail for sewing our snout onto our bear. I'm just gonna pull my yarn through. Whoa, picked up my ear. Now we need to sew in this tail, which I will do off camera because you've already seen me do that. I'm gonna make my second ear and then I will come back and we will assemble these things onto our Addy Bear head. Okay, now we're gonna to start to assemble our Addy Bear face features. You're gonna need some sewing pins. These are optional. I like to use them to hold my things in place. You can choose which side of your bear you want to be the front. I'm going with the side that has my tail on the left, if that helps you at all. You can either do the ears or the snout first. I think I'm just gonna start with the snout. I think that might help me symmetrical, symmetricalize my ears. Uh, so I like to put my, my tail at the very base of the snout and put a stitch marker just to the left of that because we're gonna go this way. And then I like to do like northeast, northeast, southwest situations when I, Hold down my sewing bits. Then we're going to use our tapestry needle again and whip stitch this puppy on. Very simple. You just go into the body of your head or your Addy Bear and then up into a stitch in your snout. Pull through. Okay, back into the head down here under a stitch. 
and then under a stitch on the snout, pull through. I'm going to repeat this all the way around, making any adjustments as we go if necessary, removing our sewing pins as we get to them. And then I will come back in a second to add the ears. As you're going around, your yarn might get like twisted and you can just hold your Addy Bear down, face down and let this dangle towards the floor and it will untwist and then you can continue. Okay, looks like this is my last stitch. Now I'm going to knot this and hide my tail inside of my Addy Bear head. I'm just gonna That a couple times as cleanly as possible so there's not a big nasty clump okay and then I'm gonna hide my needle into the head of my bear pop it out in another spot pull it down there nice and tug and then we can snip it off of there okay now let's attach our ears in border the nose the little line and the eyeballs and we're done I like to fold my ears so my tail is on one of the two ends. Also make sure your tails are sewn in on these. And then we're going to just line them up by estimating and pinning and then I will adjust accordingly. So if I just pin them in, a, in one very rough spot and then I'll go back and pair them up. So they're symmetrical. This part's probably the hardest part of the whole thing for me, just trying to make things symmetrical. So let's see. Wow. <laughs> it's looking really good. Okay. Wait, that one's looking good. Okay, wait, maybe this one's end needs to go a little bit like this way. Okay, can't really go by the rows too much because where they're in the round, it just needs to go. Okay, I think that's pretty spot on, which is amazing. Um, now I'm just going to whip stitch them together to be a little bit different than the way we did the snout, but also super similar using our tapestry needle. I'm going to go into the body of my bare head then pop it back out behind there. can remove that this in just a second. Okay, and then go, I'm gonna go into like the loops of the stitch. Gonna move that. My other ear is getting fooled with over here. I knew that was gonna happen. That's okay, we can straighten it back up. Pull it through, and then we're gonna go back into the head of the bear, pop it back out close to there we are, and then go back in, just like that, continue all the way down, making sure you're keeping your end goal here in the right spot once I get to the end. I just knot it and hide the tail just like I did for the snout, um, but I can do it on camera. Okay, that's my last one, and I'm going to wait. To, to tie it off over here until I do this ear because sometimes I need to unravel it and do it again. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this ear off camera and then I'll come back and I'll show you how I tie off. All right, I have both of my ears. Let's see if we can get those tails out of the way. Sewn on. They look pretty good to me. If one of them is way off, you could just add a little bow in front of one of them and it will be a distraction. You won't even know. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I tie off over here. Just gonna go. You could also go back down if you just want to make sure your ears are extra secure and whip stitch back down and then tie off on the opposite end. Um, one seems to be fine, but you can never be too careful if you want to do two. I get you. Double knot it and then I'm going to hide it into my bare head. Pull it down in there nice and tight and then you can cut your yarn and give it some shaping. I'll do the other one off camera 
And now we're going to do our nose. Be right back. Okay, to make our nose, I'm gonna be using some scrap black yarn. It doesn't take much, but watch it be my luck for this is not enough. I'll restart the video if it's not enough. We are going to come in from this side of the head over here in between the stitches. Like make a little hole and go in between stitches. You don't wanna go through a stitch. You wanna go in between stitches. And then we're gonna pop back out right down here where we want the tip of our nose to be. And I'm actually gonna go on top of that second row. Can you see that? That's where I'm putting my nose tip. Right at the top of row two or round two. Pull it through, but leave enough for knotting, hiding, and sewing on the side. Now we're going to just embroider our little triangle. So I'm gonna go in where I want this side to go and then back out the snout and then in where I want that side to go and then back out this way. Um, so I will show you how to do that. So I want it to be about right there. I think that looks nice. So I'm just gonna go into the head of the Addy Bear and then pop it right back out about in the same spot of where the tip of my nose is. And then as you pull it, it will start to make the shape. Now try to get symmetrical on the other side into the body of the head. Pop it right back out where the tip of your snout is. Okay, so far so good. Now we're just going to fill it in. I'm gonna go this way, this way, this way, this way, this, until I get to the center into the body of the head, back out where the tip is. Okay. And you might need to kind of help it fall into place sometimes. Okay. Now this way, got some stuffing. It's okay if it gets a little gappy, we can go back over it. No big deal. I am going to speed this up so you can still see what I'm doing, but it doesn't take all day long. So let's use a little camera magic here. But don't worry, I will stop the speed if I have something I need to say <laughs> to make it easier for you. I'm going to go up this way this time. Just kind of based off of where my tip was. Okay, really, really speeding up this time. I'm not kidding. Probably gonna run out of yarn. This has been the project of losing at yarn chicken, apparently. Lost for my body, lost for my ears. My goodness. I think we're gonna, we might make it. It's gonna be close. Okay. Let's have a look. Oh, look at his cute nose. Oh my, I love it. Okay, I probably would do one more right there. Actually, I'm kind of like right there. If I knew for sure I wasn't going to run out of yarn, I would do one more. But I'm not certain. And it's already really super cute. So I'm just going to finish um, like it's already perfect. <laughs> I'm going to take my tapestry needle and insert my yarn straight down from the tip near the base of the snout. That's where I'm putting mine. It's not exactly to the very end, but it's near the base. And then we're going to pop it back out in this same hole over here where we put our yarn in to begin with. So I'm gonna pop it back out. I probably have enough to do the one more nose string, but I'm not gonna do it. Pop it back out over there. 
and pull our yarn through. There we go. Super cute. Now we're going to take these two tails and knot them together like you're tying a balloon. Okay. And then I'm going to just make them even because that's my own brain. And I'm going to use a tapestry needle to hide them into the head. I'm going to use a bigger one since we've got two tails instead of one. I'm going to go down into that exact same hole that they came out of and hide it down in there. Give some finagling if necessary. Very good, very cute. And cut this off. And it hides down into our little bear's head. Last but not least, we have our eyes. And I'm gonna do embroidery eyes just because it's really easy. Um, but you could do other eyes if you wanted to. You could probably do the, the glue-on kind if you're into that. I think I'm just going to do some little sleepy embroidered eyes right here. So I'm going to grab some more scrap black. And using my tapestry needle, we're going to insert into a different spot between the stitches. Make sure you don't go through a stitch, but between them. And we're going to pop out where we want our eyes to go. So I'm thinking like here and here. Usually my nose isn't black. So my eyes are black and my nose isn't, and so they don't blend. Um, and I put them usually like right up next to the nose. But where my nose is black, I think I might have to go a little bit further away this time. I'll pop up a picture of what it looks like without a black nose. So I can still use black string for the eyes. But I'm just going to pop them up. So I'm coming up right here. Probably look fine. Pull it, but leave a tail. Yeah, that looks fine. Looks fine. Okay, I'm going to go into this stitch and then back out where the first one was here. You see that? Pull through. Cute. Oh, cute. I'm going to do it one more time. I'm going to go in the same stitch, but this time I'm going to pop out over here where I want the other eye to go. And I think it's going to be this one symmetrical. If it's not, we can move it, but I think it's right. Okay. Does that look right to you? It's not right. I think it needs to go over one more. So I'm going to go back in where we just came out of and pop it back out right here. I hope it works. <laughs> hope it hides good. Yeah. Okay. Nothing to see here. Nothing to see here. Okay, and then kind of eyeball it where it's eyeball it. <laughs> Good one. Okay, that's where we're going to go. About the same distance from the nose. And I'm going to go back down here where I want the end of it to be. Maybe a little bit. Maybe like through that stitch right there. And then pop it back out where the top of the eye came out of. And then one more time, back into the same base spot. And then we're going to pop it out all the way over here. So I went going back down in and pop it out in, the, in between these same stitches. Be careful not to go through a stitch, but in the hole. Okay. Perfect. Oh, so cute. Now we can knot and tie off these just like we did with the nose. And hide it down into our head here. Perfect. Boop, it's gone. Okay. How cute! Now we have completed our crocheted Addy Bear. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. I know all of you are super creative and are going to want to take this base pattern and make all kinds of cute Addy animals. If it's not too much trouble, it would really help my channel if you could credit A Crafty Concept for the body. You can tag me at A Crafty Concept on all social platforms as well. I have seen a lot of people taking my knitting machine version and adding new faces and calling it their pattern, which is to be expected. Crediting me for the body would really make a world of a difference. I want y'all to be inspired and creative, but crediting me for the original dine is just in good taste. 
If you like this pattern, be sure to give this video a thumbs up. And if you want to see more free crochet patterns, including other versions of this guy, hit the subscribe button. Have fun making your Addy Bears with all different yarn types, and I will see you in the next video.